Hello, hello, Essential Stencil friends. This is Grace here. It's Thursday night. That means it's time for some creating and crafting. So I'm going to make sure that I get everything set up here on the iPad so I can see and so I can read your comments. Um, when you come on, make sure that you say hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, let's see. I got to grab this feed and I might make a light change here. Is it too bright for you? Tell me if it's too bright in here. If you don't mind, um, maybe I'll make a little light change. Hello, hello, everybody say hello when you come on. And we are gonna do a sweet little house project tonight. Sweet little house project. It's very farmhousey, although, I think it's just um, generally very cute, <laughs> so we will see. Now listen, there'll be three sets of stencils given away tonight, so all of you who are here live, if you see that red button up in one of those corners that says live, that means you're here with me live while I'm crafting and creating and showcasing some of the stencils, and um, there'll be three sets given away, but in order for you, in order for them to know that you're here, you have to say hello. So say hello in the comments, say anything, say, say hello. Let us know where you're coming in from, what town are you coming in from, or state are you coming in from. Sometimes it's fun to see that you have other people um, who are here also. Maureen is here from Westfield, Mass. Hello, Miss Maureen. Um, say hello to my family. <laughs> my brother lives there. I know you know that, but oh my gosh, I'm, I always get such a kick out of that when you tell me you're here and you're from Westfield. Um, so yes, Wendy is here from Texas. Hello, Wendy. Hey, Tracy. Yes, I'm live. I'm live. Yay. Second time today. Well, third time today. No, wait, I lose track. Second time today. <laughs> um, on my way to Tennessee from West Virginia. Well, good luck to you, Joy. Safe travels. Okay, so three sets of stencils given away tonight. And if you're catching the replay, let me say this replay watchers within 24 hours of this broadcast being live, um, you also have a chance to win. So make sure that you comment replay so that we know that you are here as a replay watcher. Daughter-in-law in labor. Oh my gosh, thanks for keeping my mind off of it for a bit. Well, God bless her, Tammy. That's exciting news. Oh my gosh, exciting news. Oh, I hope all goes well. I'm sure it will. Yes, and I bet this will just be this will be a nice little distraction, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to grab the comments over here. They are easier for me to read on my iPad. Jennifer got happy mail today. We love us some happy mail. Hi, Karen in New York. Hello, hello. Okay, so here are the... I couldn't quite decide, so I'm going to do two. <laughs> They're very little. This is a little house cutout. It's wood. It's thick and chunky, so it will sit on its own, which makes a great shelf sitter. Also, it's a great size for tiered trays. Um, somebody's gonna ask me. It's a great size for tiered trays. It's seven inches tall. So we're gonna decorate this. We are gonna do, um, hopefully, both sides. It won't take it very long because it's so little and sweet. So let's just get started. I'm gonna, let me swipe these comments away here so I can see what you can see. Um, I should probably, oh, hold on one more thing before I do too much. I'm going to plug in my phone. I should have done that. I meant to do that earlier. So sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there it's plugged in. I'm going to move this basket that has that in it. Good. Okay. I think we're going to know you can just see the top of my water, but I think that's okay. No one's going to lose the project because of it. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Okay, great. So I've got some pretty decorative paper here. So on one side, we're gonna have a shiplap looking background and the other side, we're gonna do some color blocking. So let's just get started. I'm gonna do the shiplap part first because um, I want, I'm gonna Mod Podge this on and I want it to dry. So I'm wondering if that light is too much. Let me see. Yes, that's probably better. Less reflection. I don't know. The lighting thing, the lighting thing. Okay, so here on this one, I kind of want this up a little bit um, because the way the stripes work out, I don't want a stripe right at the tip of this. I'm being super fussy with that, but if I just lift this up a half an inch off of the paper um, and cut it that way, then I won't have just like the very tip of that being uh, one of the shiplaps. So 
I'm gonna try to use my X-Acto knife. I did this earlier and it worked out pretty good. Using an X-Acto knife, I'm on a cutting mat. I'm on a um, cutting mat and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this to size. I think this blade is a little loose. So, oh, yeah, it's a little loose. <laughs> I got a wobbly line there. It'll all be good, I promise. It'll all be fine. I usually end up sanding my edges anyway. So let's see, it's a sharp blade but it's just a little bit loose. So here, we got a little bit of shiplap for our house and I'm just gonna Mod Podge this on. I'm gonna decoupage it on here. And I love this paper. It comes, it even has the little, <laughs> the little nail holes on it. And you can see my cut is not completely straight, but it's okay. I'm gonna get it on here and then we're going to sand down those edges a little bit. I may even muck them up a little. Um, but the first thing to do is to just get it glued on there and this is the side I wanted to do it on. Okay, so regular Mod Podge. Guys, you can use any decoupage medium that you have. I prefer, if I'm gonna use Mod Podge, I prefer the matte, not the glossy. The glossier, the glossy one tends to stay stickier and wetter for a longer period of time, I think. I don't think it's as easy to work with. Oh, now I have glue all over my hands. <laughs> it's all good. Hello, Angela, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, Jean. Watching from California. Joanne is here from Connecticut. Hello, Danielle Woodshop Creations, Miss Joanne. And Dana wants to know, how's everybody doing tonight? How is everybody? All right, let's see. So maybe I can, I'm trying to get it so you can see my head and you can see the project. I don't like my head getting cut off. It's kind of weird. Okay, all I'm going to do, I'm going to get some of this matte Mod Podge. We're going to put it right on this house. My brush is very stiff. I just washed them. So this one's very stiff. We're gonna put a lot. I'm gonna be kind of liberal here and slather this on here. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy here. And then we're gonna push this into the glue. And usually, if you've got a nice wet, <laughs> layer of it on there. Um, if, if, if you make a mistake, like if it's not positioned well, you can get it off and get it back on and you will be just fine. Um, so don't worry too much about that, but you do wanna make sure you don't have any bubbles. So from the inside out, push down on your project. Now you could use like one of these squeegee looking things, like an old credit card would work or an old like hotel room key or you could use, if you have one, you could use a brayer, one of these little rollers. Uh, Mod Podge actually has one that they sell specifically for Mod Podge, for de their, their line. Um, now, I think I missed a corner. <laughs> Look at that, girls. I always miss a corner. That's why that's so funny because anybody who knows me knows I always miss a corner. Hey, look at you guys. We have 342 people here. What is up with that? That is amazing. Thank you, Susie. She says, it's so awesome to see you back. I'm so happy to be back. Maureen, right? She said, don't forget your edges. I always, look at, I always miss an edge. So when you're using decoupage, just make sure you get nice, wet, <laughs> gluey edges. And I usually double check because I tend to miss mine. So just take your brush, get it in there stop it in there and then go ahead and push everything down. I always do a check now because I just tend to miss it. I always tend to miss it. Um, I don't know why, it's just the way it goes for me and I, I want it really secured on there well. I don't even mind if there's a little bubble um, because it makes the shiplap, look at I do, I have like a little wrinkle crease right here and it just makes the shiplap look um, Creased, it makes it look, I think, more authentic, more textured, which I love. Okay, this is a pretty thick, it's not cardstock, but it almost feels like a fabric. It's got a nice woven texture to it, this paper that I have. Um, so I can't even feel the moisture of the Mod Podge on the top. When you're working with thinner papers or particularly napkins, the Mod Podge will go right through that layer and you'll feel it. You'll feel the stickiness on your hand. With this one, I can't feel any stickiness. It's nice and dry. Um, and so I kind of knew that would happen because it's a nice thick paper. 
So I'm gonna be able to turn this around, give that a little time to dry even more, and work on this side. I have two different, we're gonna do two different designs on here. Before I do that, I see I have a little bit of a lip here of paper. I'm going to take, now you could take your knife and cut off the edges if you want it to be a really crisp line. I really kind of like it looking mucked up and messy. So I'm gonna take my um, Dollar Tree sanding block here and I'm just gonna sand off the edges of that paper. And especially if this paper was super thin and it felt a little tacky or wet from the glue, you would wanna wait for this to dry before you do this. My paper is very thick. I don't, it's not gonna affect my um, sanding at all. So let me just caveat that for you. If you're working with really thin papers, napkins, you need to let them dry before you do any sanding. Because my paper is pretty thick. I'm not too worried about it. So I just wanna give them, even, even if you don't have an overage, I had overage of paper here, not so much here, but even though I didn't have an overage, I'm still gonna sand all of the sides of it because you want them to look the same and look uniform, right? So you want them to have the same look and the edges will look a little different because I'm sanding off some of this paper. So, whew, really messy. Shredded paper all over. I love the look of the sanding. Um, it makes it look a little more distressed in my opinion, which I really do love. I haven't decided yet. We'll decide later whether we're going to do any distressing on that. Jackie says that's my favorite part. I love sanding the edges off. Oh, I love it. Look at all those hearts. I love it. I love it. Sandy. <laughs> hey, Cynthia, we're glad you're here. I love this paper too. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it so pretty? And it's like really a good size shiplap with tiny little shiplap pieces, um, perfect for this little house, right? Sometimes we get shiplap and the and the they're like spaced two inches wide on big twelve by twelve paper. This one's kind of narrow, and so it's just perfect for that little house. Okay, here's the stencil sets I'm going to use tonight. There are so many designs from these two sets that I love. This one is called Southern Charm Six Pack. And they're really hard to see, so I'm gonna show you. This is the one I'm gonna use. This set comes with, bless your heart, that's the one I'm gonna use, and I love it. Um, so I'm gonna pull that aside. It comes with, give me some sugar. How <laughs> cute is that? Give me some sugar and the O is a heart. Who has this set? Who doesn't have this set? Tell me, because listen, this would be a great one to have in your stash because they're really little. These are the six by six and you get six of them in each set. Um, and I really had a hard time deciding and I'm gonna do both sides. So I'm using one from this set and one from another set. Um, Southern Charm, look at that sweet font. We've got Sweet Tea with the little lemon wedges. This one comes with Sweet Southern Mess. That would be really cute on a t-shirt or on an apron, right? Sweet Southern mess, that would be adorable. And then of course, hey y'all, with a little sprigs, and I love that too. Okay, that's the one set we're gonna be using. From this set, we're gonna use Bless Your Heart. And then let me show you the other one we're gonna use, and I will we'll decide which one's going on which side. So from this set, and what is it called? Home Six Pack. I had really a hard time deciding on this one. Um, so, oh gosh, there's so many good ones. Okay, this comes with Let's Stay Home. It comes with, I gotta make sure that they're, they're the right way for you so you can read them. Our Happy Place. It comes with, I've used this one several times already because of course I'm from the Comfy Nest and it says Our Nest. It comes with Home Sweet Home. And it comes with this home with the wreath. And I was considering using this one, but it really fills up the whole house. So instead, this is the one I decided on. This is us, our life, our story, our home. So this one's gonna go on one side and then bless your heart on the other, okay? And I'm making it double-sided because I really, like this, first of all, I get bored easily. So I could have something up on my living room, like table, for two weeks and then I want to, I want something else. <laughs> so I'll flip it over and have something else on it. The other thing is I do have a tiered tray and 
you know, sometimes depending on where your tiered tray is in your home, like if it's on the buffet or like the, the countertop in the middle of your kitchen or dining room, you may see the tray from all sides. And so you would want it to be cute on both sides, right? Okay, so we're gonna leave the paper for now. And um, bless your heart is gonna go on the paper. I, I decided that earlier because of the way the design is gonna be. This is us is what's gonna go on this side. And I'm gonna do a color block. So the, our, the little line on the bottom, our life, our story, our home is gonna be on a black strip and the rest of it's gonna stay white. And then I think we're gonna embellish it a little bit, but you can help me decide later. Kathy says, I need this home set. Go grab it, grab it while they're available. You guys know, you guys know stuff sells out so quickly, right? With Essential Stencil because we have such, we're all such raving fans um, that things really do sell out quickly. So use my code, the Comfy Nest. I would appreciate that. You'll get a discount um, and you'll be able to grab you, anything that you put in your cart, you'll get a discount for it. So go ahead and use that code. Yes, Jackie says, I love putting patterns on both sides. It's so versatile. <clears throat> yes, Don says both of those sets are awesome. They always have such great stencils. <laughs> Carrie, hello, Carrie. We're getting to spend a lot of time together, Carrie. Okay, that's good tonight. This is the second um, class or workshop or whatever that Carrie and I are doing tonight together. Okay, so I want a color block and I decided, I think I want the color block to be like an inch and a half wide. Um, I just kind of looked at it and eyeballed it. So I'm going to give myself a little mark here just so I know I want my tape to come across. I could actually use my, um, my cutting board has the grid on it and that really helps too for you to line stuff up. But I'm going to tape this off at that one and a half inch mark to make sure that I'm lined up straight on both sides. I really should Give myself one and a half on one edge, one and a half on the other edge. If I give myself a mark, see I'm a little bit low here, then I'll know where I need to line up my tape and it should be straight, right? So if I go one and a half inch on both, that's not straight, one of them is off. Hang tight girls, I gotta concentrate now. And my eyes are wonky, new contacts, yeah, this side's off. I could tell just by the way the line was running. Um, I have new contacts and they are bifocal contacts. I can't see far away and I can't see things close up. I need all the help. So bifo bifocal contacts, they're supposed to help with both. And I got a new prescription. So my eyes are a little bit, a little bit wiggly today. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. So this is what I'm doing. I'm color blocking. I'm going to put a black strip on the bottom here. Kind of goes along with the black stripes here. We're just going to use regular paint and I'm going to paint a little bit of a, a black strip there. And then when I do my words, I'm going to do the words in white and then they'll show up really well. The words on the This Is Us are, are pretty small. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet though. They're really sweet. And I think if I use the black background with the white paint, it's going to just be really striking. That's my thought, but we'll see. All right, so I put my tape down. You want to make sure that this edge is really nice and tight of your painter's tape so that no paint bleeds through. Um, I have a question. When you paint a, the stencil, do you prefer a sponge or a brush? I'm new doing this. I actually, I used to prefer a makeup wedge, but for a long time now, I've been using the brushes. Um, and I always suggest that you try them both because like even for me, I used to prefer the sponge, the makeup wedge, and now I prefer the brushes. And it's just a matter, I tried them both several times and I ended up liking one over the other. So I do generally suggest that you try them both. Try them both and see which one you prefer um, because I think we all just have a different preference. I, I, you know, I don't think any, either one of them is right or wrong, it's just which do you like better. Now I wanna be careful, I'm gonna try not to get paint on the edges, okay? So when I go off the board here, I'm gonna be very careful and I don't have a ton of paint on my brush. I'm just actually even taking it from the cap and I'm just using Apple Barrel. I just have black paint from Apple Barrel. It's um, really thin paint, so it's easy to spread, but you may end up needing two coats, right? So just keep that in mind. That's okay. I've left my line of the blue tape for last. I'm gonna go onto the blue tape and off like this. 
because I don't want to take my paintbrush and go against the blue, if I can help it, I don't want to go against the blue tape because then if you do have any bubbles, the paint's going to ooze underneath that. So I usually try, same thing with my stencils, to fill in the bulk of it this way. I need more paint. I um, need more paint. I have this little piece of brown craft paper here. I was hoping I'd get away with just what was in the cap, but no, no can do. I, I need more. So here we go. And it's okay by the time, this thin paint, by the time you get to one edge, the other edge is already dry. So it makes it easy to give your second coat. Now, my line is not really crisp doing it this way. It's not real crisp. You can see there's some white still in there. So instead of coming against that tape, I'm going to just dab this in. It's just like stenciling. I'm going to stipple it in with the hope that I don't get any paint underneath that blue tape. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And while it's nice and wet, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do some brush strokes all in the same direction so the paint is kind of even and it doesn't look stippled. This is definitely gonna need two coats. Definitely, but that'll give me time to check comments and take a drink of water. Um, so this is what we got so far. We have our ship lap on one side and we're gonna have the black color block on the other side. Um, Dorita says, I just placed an order last night. I can't wait to get them. And she says, don't forget your brushes. Yes, um, Essential Stencil really does have beautiful, high quality, brushes. So grab a brush set. Um, gosh, those were, these were out of stock for a very long time, but I believe they're back and they're in stock. So grab them while you can. Uh, let me get a little drink of water. Hi, Janet. Hello. Hello. Oh, two Janets right in a row said hello. <laughs> Hi, Janet Clark. Hi, Janet Idziak. <laughs> oh, look at this. Something about a bonus prize. If we reach 400 viewers, you guys, they're going to give away four sets of stencils. We're at 374, so you know what that means. You gotta do this. The more that you guys hit that button and you share it out in public, so not in a private message, but if you share it on your own personal page or maybe in one of your craft groups that allow that, um, the more that you do that and the more people that join us, the closer we get to that 400, there'll be another set of stencils. Yay! All right, I'm gonna take this and dry, dry. Let's make sure we get this dry. Dana agrees, the brushes are great. Gotta get the brushes, Tammy says. Look at all the comments. Show us some hearts. Who loves the essential stencil brushes? Let's see some hearts for those brushes. Everybody loves them. Brenda says they're a must have. I love it. I don't know, Becky. Becky says, why are you using paint instead of stain? I don't use stain very often. It's just not my jam. Um, I'm using paint. I want it to be really black, crisp line, kind of mimicking my shiplap on the back, I kind of want this color block looking really crisp. And actually, I got pretty darn good coverage there. I don't, there's just one little spot right in here that I think I need a little more paint. So I'm gonna come in and just add a little more and then we'll get stenciling. This, this block of wood, it is um, like palette wood kind of, so it's not exactly smooth. It has little nooks and crannies in it. So when you're painting and stenciling on something like that, you do have to keep in mind the nooks and crannies because your paint may not seep into all those nooks and crannies and you really just wanna make sure if you want it to be full, full coverage that you go back and check because you might have a couple of little spots that you have to dab the paint into to get it into that nook and cranny. All right, this is pretty much done. I'm gonna pull this tape off. Um, I'm gonna need more black paint, but I won't need this brush anymore, so I'm gonna put that aside. So we'll have our color block on the bottom, and that's where those little words are gonna go. The big reveal is always fun, right? Look at that, so pretty, so pretty, I love it. Okay, I love color blocks. Are you guys fans of that? Does anybody ever color block paint? Tell me, tell me, you guys were at 382 for the number of viewers. You can do it, you can do it. You only need like 20 more people. Um, now Marcy, you can see it's not very wet. You can see it's not hugely wet. No, I didn't wait for it to dry to pull the paint off. Look, at I got a pretty good line right there. Okay, what we're gonna do on this one is bless your heart. 
And I'm gonna leave the arrow off. I just want the words. It's a really sweet arrow. It looks like a heart on the side with the with the um the point of the arrow and it looks like leaves on the back. I love it. I just think it's very dainty and pretty, but for this, I don't think I want that. I just want the words, bless your heart. Oh no, bless your heart's going on the other side, but I'm gonna leave that arrow off. This one I'm gonna do, this is us, and these words are gonna go on the black, um, the black part. So let me just, I'm gonna check my like spacing here. I think it's just gonna fit so perfectly right there. And I don't even think, I was thinking I was gonna have to stencil and then move the stencil down, but I don't think I will. I think I'll be able to fit it all, but I gotta dry this first. BJ just finished color blocking some wooden firecrackers. Ooh, she's getting ready for 4th of July. You guys are at 387, 388. Is that the number you're seeing? 392, you guys, we're almost there. We are almost there, keep going. You got this, girls. Guys and girls, excuse me. Okay. This, I don't even, I won't even have to move it. It's going to fit just perfectly on here. I was kind of thinking of lowering. I don't know. Let's get This Is Us on here, and then we'll figure out what to do with the, with the words. I'm going to take another piece of tape, and I am going to tape this down because I want to make sure that it doesn't wiggle and move on me. Um, just making sure that it's straight. I'm gonna, I have a little bit of the top of the house available to me for taping that down. We're gonna tape, we're gonna do this in black and I'm going to use the smallest of the brushes. This is, it says it's, I think it's the smallest one. It's a half inch brush, um, stencil brush. So I'm gonna grab my paint. I have my little spot here and I call this the wet part of the paint, I call it the store. These, this is just language that I came up with. It's nobody, I don't think anybody else uses this language but me. Um, and But I needed to name it something, right? You guys, you're at 397, this is crazy. 399, you're almost there. Oh, and, and wait, they're saying congrats, you did it. We reached our goal, so stick around at the end. We'll select four lucky viewers. Woohoo! four people are gonna win. You guys, you rocked it. You rocked it, nice job. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Okay, here's my store, wet oozing paint. We don't, you know, we're gonna get paint from there and then we're gonna come to what I call the land of offload somewhere else. And we're gonna work that paint up into the bristles of the brush. Little round circles. We wanna make sure that all of the bristles have paint and that the paint has moved up into these bristles right here um, because that is holding paint for you to now deposit onto your project. Um, you wanna make sure that it's dry. You do not wanna have drips or wet glistening paint on here. You want it to be dry. So come to your store, add some paint, come to the land of offload, and in little circle motions, get as much of that paint off as you can. You can always add more paint, but if you have too much paint, it's really hard to take it away. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it down with my left hand, this stencil, onto the board. And I'm just gonna come in and I'm kind of stippling. You can stipple, you can go in little round circles if you want. There are a bunch of different ways you can um, approach this project <laughs> with the way that you apply the paint. Um, it really, it just depends on what your preference is. Totally up to you. When you feel like your paint's getting low, you go back into your store, then go back into your land of offload to make sure you don't have too much, and then come back in and add some more. It's pretty darn easy. Now listen, I know a lot of you struggle with bleed through. Um, there are many factors. So as people say, why do I get bleed through? Well, it could have to do with the way that your stencil is positioned on your project. You wanna make sure it's nice and flat and you wanna hold it down. Because when I lift up, it comes up, up off of the um, surface. When I push down, I can see that it lays flat. So with your, your free hand, you're gonna hold it down. Um, bleed through might have to do with how thick your paint is or really how thin your paint is. You don't wanna work with thin paint. You pr preferably wanna have thicker paint. So don't ever water your paint down when you're stenciling. You wanna have a nice thick paint when you use it. You wanna make sure you don't have a lot of paint on your applicator, whether it's a sponge, a makeup wedge, a brush, um, a roller, you just wanna have a very dry amount of paint 
on your applicator. Uh, there are just so many facts, and the, then the way that you apply the paint onto your project, all those things will affect how your stenciling goes, right? So the main thing that we will hear all of us say is just keep practicing, just keep doing it. And if you're not sure and you're new to stenciling, I always suggest you guys use the Amazon box that you got in the mail or the inside of a cereal box to practice. Like that way you don't have to use your good papers or your good surfaces, your boards that you purchased. Whoa, too much paint. I can tell right away it was just too black, too dark. Um, practice, practice on a notebook. You can practice on a notebook. Practice on a scrap piece of wood, you know, something that you're gonna throw out anyway. It's gonna go in the fire pit. Well, before you put it in the fire pit, use it to practice so that you get some time with figuring out, do you like a brush? Do you like a makeup wedge? Do you like um, one of those sponges? Like which applicator do you like the most? Do you wanna use a roller? There are so many choices, but you have to practice to know which is the best choice for you. Okay, I'm gonna hinge this up so we can see how that's coming along. It's perfect. Ah, yay, I missed one little spot. Not missed, but I'm gonna darken this little spot on the S um, in the word this. I'm gonna darken that up a little bit and reinforce it. And then what I have to decide is, if I leave this, I'm gonna hold it up real close and see if you can see it. If I leave this right where it is, the letters or the words underneath, these tiny little words that are gonna be on that black strip are gonna be right on the top. I was actually thinking maybe I should lower them a little, but you tell me, should I leave them right there at the very top or should I drop them down a half inch? Can you see where my black strip is? I think they should be dropped down. You tell me in the comments. Should I drop those down? I would pick up the stencil and move it so that those are sitting more in the middle. Or do you think it looks good right up at the top? Jamie says lower it, <laughs> lower it. Charlotte says lower it. This is what I know, I need your opinion. Girls, guys and girls, more in the middle of the black, Debbie says. Yes, Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer Gilder says, lower them, Melissa Cruz, lower them. Yeah, I think it's the, the consensus, right? And listen, there's no right or wrong to this. If you say no, you like them up tall, you like them up high, that's great, that's perfect, that's the answer for you. If you want it down and all, I, cause I really thought maybe I should put it all the way down to the lower right and right justify them. Um, but there's, I wanted to point out that there's no right or wrong answer. Like any of those things, all of those things will work. All of those things are just fine. You just do you. You do what makes you happy when you're stenciling. You do what you think looks great, okay? Because ain't nobody the boss of you. Like <laughs> you do your projects the way you wanna do them. These letters are gonna be in white. I'm opening up my craft paper here because I have another side to it. I'm gonna need that black brush again for the other side. But for now, whoops. Got some white paint on my finger, as usual. Messy crafter. Messy crafter entering the room. Um, Jay says, if you can, you should join the Stencil of the Month Club. It's great. Listen, if you guys decide to do that, use my code and you'll get 50% off your first month. Try it. You don't have to stay for any length of time. Sign up. You can try it for a month. And if you decide it's not for you, you can opt out. I don't think you will, though. I don't think you will. Okay, this is what we have so far. This is us with that black block, and I think it's so striking, and I love it. Now, I'm gonna drop these letters down. First, I'm gonna test and make sure this is really dry. I'm not gonna rub. I'm gonna take my dry hand, clean hand, and just kind of press down on the letters, and nothing comes up. I wanna press down and make sure that everything's dry, because when I put this back down, I don't want anything getting smudged. Okay. So let's lower this a little bit. We're gonna lower this and put it toward the middle. Oh, my eyes are getting old. And this is kind of hard to see. Whoa, it's hard to see. It's hard for me to see this because my eyes, I have new contacts and my eyes are a little old. <laughs> I can't be the only one. I can't be. I've had bad eyes for a long time. I've been wearing glasses since I was in high school. Um, but that just my my eyesight just gets progressed every time I go they're like yep you need a new prescription mm, I kind of figured that okay my store right here then I'm gonna come to a place where there's no paint land of offload same thing this is not an essential stencil brush I don't know where I got this brush but it's the smallest stencil brush that I have 
and I love it because I for these tiny little words I think I like a smaller brush okay so I don't know where I got it you guys people have asked me there are no words on the side of it I, I have a suspicion I got it at Walmart years ago um, but I can't tell you I've even tried to look it up because so many people have asked me so I apologize oh let's see if we reach 500 live viewers we're gonna select a set of of winner a winner for a free stencil brush set if you guys get us to 500 oh, talk about gold hashtag goals <laughs> all right I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna stipple in the white on top of the black now this may need more oh, my brush is already dry this may need more than one coat because I'm coming in on black with white and my white is that Waverly plaster so it's not really quite white it's like an off-white so I may need two coats but for now using my hand and I'm stenciling in between these two fingers I'm I'm holding down the top I'm holding down the bottom and I'm stenciling in between so you're gonna get paint on your fingers and it's okay it'll help you have more control and hold that stencil down so it doesn't move around on you and it doesn't lift up and if it doesn't lift up you'll have less chance of bleed through so I'm I'm stippling between these two little fingers I'm holding down the letters and then in between I'm coming in and I'm pouncing I call it stippling that paint into the those areas that are making up these words I think this is gonna be incredibly cute and these words are teeny tiny teeny and a little brush really does help with that. Okay, oops, I've got paint on my table. Okay, I'm gonna hinge it back and just look and see if it's dark enough. Huh, I'm gonna show you, you tell me. I think it needs one more coat. Look at that, how cute, you guys. Right, isn't it so striking with the black background? Just a simple strip of black paint, and look at that. Look at that. I'm going to put one more little coat. Okay, I'm going to grab and I'm just using from the cap. I mean, it's just such you just don't need a lot of paint here because there's such little letters, right? I'm going to come in one more time and I'm just going to just reinforce the color to really make it pop. Do you guys like it? Um, I always get paint on my fingers, Crystal says. <laughs> we all have a crafter's manicure. Exactly, Shirley. You can tell I'm a painter, right? You can tell we're crafters by the look of our fingers, right? Burn marks from the glue gun. I mean, give me some hearts if you've experienced these things, right? Stain in your nail beds. <laughs> Stain or paint in your nail beds. Glue burns, right? Maybe you've pricked your finger with a needle. Um, have you ever been sewing and you prick your finger with a needle? Been there, done that. Oh, we've had all the injuries, right? Our poor little fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Linda says, I love this idea. It's so cute. And Sandy says, it's cute with the black. All right, let's peel this off because it's done. You guys, that side is done. Black and white. And honestly, I thought about doing blue because like I have a lot of teal blue in my house and I love it. But look at that right and i'm thinking you guys can tell me if you think i have this little black and white heart or um heart black and white bow that i could put up there i have a black and white one and i thought if not the black and white maybe the burlap maybe the black and white's too much no i like the black and white all right that will be a decision for later because we gotta just we gotta just put the stencil on the other side so i'm gonna take the hair dryer to this quick and then we'll stencil the other side Jeannie says, I'm embarrassed when I go to get my manicure. I haven't had a manicure, I'm guessing, two years. <laughs> I don't ever go to get a manicure. Michelle says, I'm going to make this. Yay! I love when you're inspired by projects that I do. Listen, if you're in the Sense of the Month Club and you do a project inspired by something that I've done, I'm so honored by that. Share it. Share it over there in the Sense of the Month Club. I want to see. Tag me. Tag the comfy nest with grace so I know that you did it. Please, I love that. And um, if you're in my free my free um, craft community on Facebook, you can do that too. It's called the Crafty Chicks Club. Colleen loves the black and white bow. Hello, Miss Colleen. She's my fellow North Dakota neighbor. Yes, hello, hello. Oh, Jennifer likes the burlap. 
All right, let's see. So this is what we got on the first side. We'll put a bow on in a minute. Um, the, I'll, I'll ask you guys to vote when it's time. <laughs> do you like the burlap? Do you like the black and white? Let's get Bless Your Heart on here. I'm going to do it in black. And I'm going to um, just, I'm just going to center it, you guys. I don't want, I'm not going to use the arrow. I'm going to do it in black. I'm going to center it. Let me move this white over because I don't think I need that anymore. I need my black paint. Um, but I, I, I'm not going to tape it down. Here's the thing. This is paper on top. I have not put a sealer on here. If you want to be truly, like if you want to be really safe, you could put a sealer on top of your paper and then paint on top like layers. Um, that works really well too when you're doing mixed media projects. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to put this on top and because it's paper, I'm not going to use my tape on here because I'm afraid even with the painter's tape that it might pull it up. So I'm going to just put it on here. I'm going to center it and I'm just going to hold it down. Ah, it's a chance I'm taking, but I'm willing to take it. I might need more paint. I'm going to grab just a little more paint. I think I'm going to need some more. Just a little, tiny little piece of craft paper that it was going to go in the garbage. And I thought, nope, because I'm a frugal fanny. Nope, I'm going to use it for my paint palette. Okay, here we go. Again, holding it down with my left hand. You see these two fingers? I tend to stencil in between those two fingers. I'm using two fingers to hold on either side of my letter, my word, my design, whatever it is that you're stenciling. I'm gonna stipple again. It's just so easy. I should have taped off the arrow. Ooh, I adjusted it, it moved just a smidge. Um, <laughs> ooh, 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 Gracie, you're gonna mess things up. Gracie grew, my dad used to say, Gracie, God love him. You did it to yourself when, when something would happen and you know, like, oh, I'd stay up too late and then I'd have a headache in the morning or something. Gracie, you did it to yourself, he'd say. And I'd say, yeah, I know. There was no sympathy coming from that man. He was like, Gracie, you know, make better decisions basically. <laughs> okay, I'm really chancing it here because the arrow is so close to these letters. I don't, I don't like it. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. I usually, when I'm by myself, I hold my paintbrush in my mouth. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that on a live broadcast, should I? I am going to tape this off because I'm afraid that I'm going to get paint inside the arrows and I don't want that. Now, the arrow is so narrow, most of the tape is going to be on the stencil, so I'm not really worried about that sticking to my paper. I'm more worried about getting paint. Um, you know, going through that arrow. And I don't want the arrow, I just want the words. So when you don't want something to be stenciled, just tape it off with your painter's tape. Uh, it's the easiest way. I know um, Melissa from Miller's Rustic Star Mill, she uses these black inserts. Don't throw these out with your packaging. She uses those to cover up what she doesn't want to stencil. I tend to use the tape, I don't know why. I just know it's going to stay in place and it's less for me to like try to coordinate my fingers to hold on to one more thing. I like the, um, the tape being stuck down and then I'll have to worry about it. Now I can just freely stencil around that and not worry about getting paint where I don't want it. I'm on, oh, did I smudge it? I'm on to the third words here, the heart. And I'm, I'm stenciling on paper, so it's going to really suck up the paint, right? It's a paper. It's a paper pulp product. Paper is going to absorb moisture. So let's hope we're going to get a really nice, crisp stencil line here. If you're really wary, just do a coat of your Mod Podge. Your, your Mod Podge is your glue, but it's also it can be used as your sealer or spray it with a polyacrylic top coat. Um, then you can you can stencil on top of that if you're worried about something smearing or smudging or any of that. Okay, I think it's good, but I always hinge. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold down this part very strongly with my left hand and I'm gonna pull up the stencil, but I, I don't wanna lose my place just in case I have to touch anything up. So I'm hinging this up. Oh, it's really dark. It's good, it's good. You guys, it's so cute. Okay, hold on. Okay, thank you. Essential Stencil, put the stencils that I'm using. The link to both of them are in the, um, the pinned comment. 
So you can find them there as well as the brushes. So yes, use my code, the company nest to get 10% off. I appreciate that. Now listen, that comment is making it really hard for me. I just see these comments that are coming in. No, Tammy, it doesn't matter what kind of paint you, you use. I always use water-based paints. So craft paints, um, acrylic paint, chalk paint, mineral-based paints. I like all of those. Um, I, Apple Barrel for me tends to feel really loose and um, liquidy. You want thicker paint. Um, Waverly is a really great brand for that. I feel like that's a really great brand that you can count on and it's easy to find. But really, any paints will do. Look at, this is what we got. That font on that makes me, it kind of makes me think of like, um, like a chalkboard. I don't know why. Bless your heart. Look at how cute that is, you guys. I really like that on the shiplap. We have to decide on bows because this is what I have on the other side. Perfect for a tiered tray. It's just a seven inch little house. Um, now we have to decide on the bows. Um, burl, I have burlap and I have black and white. Do I put it on both sides or just one side? And here's the black and white. Here's the little black and white. Oh, I think it might look even better over here. Oh, it's really cute on this one. Bless your heart. It's really cute on that side. Or I know Jennifer Gilder, she said she likes the, the burlap. Again, there's no right or wrong. It's just which do you prefer? Do I do it on both sides, just one side? I am convinced that this side needs the bow. So I'm gonna definitely, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it because I like it. The black and white on the bless your heart side, but do I put it on both sides? The other option is flowers, right? Oh, 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 let me see. I have like, you can get all these flowers and look at, I have this and I, I pulled this out because I thought they were so cute, little burlap flowers, but they have bling in the middle. They have like all this little sparkly bling in the middle. So let's let's test that out. What would that look like? No. <laughs> no, that's not right. This might be really cute. Or you could, yeah, guys, you could do whatever your little heart desires. You could put a couple of them on, right? Just to embellish them with a simple little flower or bow. Black and white, Carrie says. Love the black and white. Tammy suggests a black and white. Terry, black and white. Mary Jo says black and white on both sides. See, I'm with you, Mary Jo. I think the black and white, I think the black and white bows on both sides because the whole thing is black and white, right? This definitely needs something. This side definitely needs something. So we're gonna put this on here. I'm just gonna use a little bit of um, craft glue here. Uh, I'm just gonna put it right on the center of this bow and maybe down the sides just a little bit. Make sure that this really, really sticks on. And we're going to stick this on. I get to turn it to me so I can see. And then I promise you I'll show you one more time. We're almost done with this, girls. Guys and girls, I'm going to put this toward the top, but I don't want to cover up my shiplap. So I'm going to put it toward the top, not covering my shiplap. And I always wipe my excess glue right away because I don't like oozing glue. I'm not a fan of the oozing glue. I don't like oozing beads of glue whether it be hot glue regular glue i don't like it <laughs> so i want to make sure that the glue isn't oozing out of the project all right that's what we got so far <laughs> how cute is that you guys <laughs> oh seriously okay i gotta dig out another black and white i wasn't thinking that i would use two black and white i was going to do a different one on the other side but we're going to put the burlap away we're going to grab another little black and white these were in my Amazon store, you guys. I, I use them frequently. They're kind of pre-made little bows. They're so cute. They're all, you know, the ribbon's cut and pre-made and you get like, I don't know, if maybe you get 20 of the three different colors, red and black, white and black, and the burlap. I think that you guys are right that the black and white is best here. I'm missing these comments. I'm missing them. Oh, Janet says adorable. Yay, I'm so glad you guys think so. Listen. Sprinkle, sprinkle, get this out there. Um, listen, if you're not a follower over at the Comfy Nest, I would be honored, honored to have your company over there. So come on over to my page. I do have access to my page now. For those of you that know me, you know I lost my page for a little while. Um, some hackers took over my page, but I do have it back now. 
as of today, so come on over and see me at the Comfy Nest with Grace. I would be honored to have your company. Would love to have you part of my lives over there. And I go live here every every Thursday here for Essential Stencil, and I'm honored. I've been a brand ambassador for a long time. I'm a huge fan of the product line. Fabulous, wonderful people, family, um, small family running this business. So you're supporting small business when you're supporting Essential Stencil. And when you use my code, you're supporting my small business. So double thank yous, double, double thank yous. Okay, we got two little bows. Oh, you guys, I really, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here, but I'm really in love with this project. This is gonna be a hard one to get a photo of. <laughs> Essential Stencil always want a photo of our project afterwards. I'm gonna have to do a two part photo. Do you have a favorite? I would love to know. If you had to vote, do you like Bless Your Heart? Or do you like This Is Us more? If you had to pick one, if I made you pick one, which do you like more? It's really a hard choice. You guys, it's really a hard choice. We're gonna see some winners polled here in a second. Um, so hang tight. And we're gonna give you the names of the winners tonight. And all the winners just have to email Essential Stencil with your mailing address and email address so that they can send you your stencils. Let's see what everybody's voting. I'm not seeing any votes coming in yet, but there might be a, a little bit of a delay here. Ah, oh, Jennifer loves it. Colleen loves it. I'm so glad you guys love it. Yay, yay. Yay, yay. Linda says, this is really adorable. All right, I'll show you one more time. And that was in the comments too. The two sets that I used. I used that set. And then one of them came from this set. Just to recap, those were the two sets that I used. And I did use the Essential Stencil Brush. Um, they really do have quality, quality brushes. Angelica says both. I know, it's so hard. Oh, I'm so mean making you pick, right? <laughs> Jennifer says this is us but both are really cute both are my favorite Tracy I love this I love that you guys are just you're sticking to it um this is us Caroline says this is us is my favorite Melissa says I really love this project and he says yay winner winner chicken dinner I'm so glad you guys like it oh we've got four winners tonight let me read off the names you guys Deborah Berry Money Leanne Wright Carr Robin Jernoski Kester. Those are our three winners. And then our bonus winner tonight is Cindy Grueling, or maybe it's Grawling, probably Grueling. G R U L I N G. Cindy, Robin, Leanne, and Deborah, you just won a set of stencils as our live viewers. Thank you for being here, everybody. If you're catching the replay, remember they're going to pull another replay winner. So make sure you comment replay. Um, I've been honored to have your company tonight, you guys. I have so much fun being here with you guys every Thursday. So thank you for tuning in. You guys have a beautiful, blessed, safe night. Get a good night of sleep. Bless your heart. I'll see you next week. Bye.